हाँ जी द डे आफ्टर दिस समथिंग न्यू दैट वी ट्राइंग ऑन फोर ट्वेंटी ग्राम्स नॉट समथिंग वी डू फॉर एवरीथिंग बट जस्ट प्योरली बिकॉज द डे आफ्टर देर आर सो मेनी ओपिनियंस ऑन दैट सुनील छेत्री गोल एंड अंडरस्टैंडेबली इट्स अ कंटेंशियस गोल um some believe it should stand some believe it shouldn't stand and and various uh, you know guns are being pointed in various directions um so i only f- thought that it's it's good that you do a reaction the day after um and, and i'll keep out all the all the bull bull that's been going around mm-hmm. and i'll try keeping it as simple as possible um so i'll first break it down into um i'll tell you exactly what happened last night and this is post kerala walking out i know for a fact um that the match commissioners and everyone who's part of the organizing committee they went to the kerala team and they were the management and the coach they said listen why are you not coming back onto the ground come back onto the ground and the management and the coach very clearly told them because they were unified in this at that time uh, whatever decision whatever step you may have taken as drastically as it may as drastic as it may be uh, you have to stand together and uh, they said we are not coming out we are not coming out um if we come out we will not play so it's as good as them scoring 10 goals on us uh, we're not coming out you can keep handing us as many yellow cards as want we're not playing um so then the match commissioner and the league officials had no other option but to say that they aren't coming out and so the match is handed in bengaluru fc's favor what the repercussions of this will be one the obvious bengaluru marches on into the playoffs they play mumbai uh, different different scene different scenario completely um but from a kerala perspective i i think it's important uh from a league perspective if someone has done this what do you do now how do you reprimand maybe reprimand is not the right word how do you react um because your reaction will tell you how strong or you know um how strong you are in imposing yourself so that this does not happen going forward um in my opinion i feel it won't be anything more than a financial ban by financial ban i mean you'll be charged a certain amount of rupees and uh, whatever that sum is not debating the sum over here um and in i think you might get a touch line ban come next season because their season is over um you you do have the super cup but i'm talking about the, the super league indian super league next season so i'm guessing he's going to get a touch touch line ban and 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 uh, it'll be a financial ban nothing more than that because at this time from a kerala perspective the management the players the fans you cannot show that you're against what the coach did because let's let's be very clear that the team walked off only after the coach said everyone walks off and then everyone follows suit now at that time whether the players are saying look there are 25 minutes left in the game let's not do this let's stay here let's play is out of the question you're all walking off your coach is telling you to do that and now the time has come for all of you to be unified now with regards to the spray here are a couple of things i found on social media uh, firstly this is an article on espn they're saying in an era prior to the usage of vanishing spray because if you talk about vanishing spray i've heard this one theory coming from somewhere that if you put the vanishing spray on the mark of the ball then and that 10 yards later you have to put the vanishing spray um at the wall no real rule like that didn't read anything about it couldn't find it if i am wrong please do post it <clears throat> in the comments but it's saying did uh, the referees did place the ball on the spot where a free kick could be taken and that did not initiate the procedure of 10 yards being counted which is what the blasters contended ought to have happened quick free kicks were still in play with the ball stationary most notably used by Thierry Henry against Chelsea in 2004 with Premier League referee Graham Paul telling the BBC the whistle doesn't need to be blown So I asked Ronri, like what Chetri is saying of last night. I asked Ronri, do you want a wall? He said, can I take it, please? And by can I take it, please? He's saying, can I take the free kick? He was very polite. I said yes. I gave him the signal for him to take it, and that's what he did. Now I'll play that goal for you because it's on social media as well, and you make of it what you will. Here, see the goal first. Quick one from Ronri. Good thinking. He's asking him. I can see him asking him. 
And West Ham's there. Look at Good Johnson now. Does he move away? Does he need to? When he does, you see Good Johnson's anxiety because he's had the conversation. Dekha apne. The main thing here for me is this. Uh, Good Johnson turning his back. Good Johnson's job at that time is to be on the ball. It's not to look at the back. It's not to look if the ball has been made. That is not your job. Your job is for something like this, to prevent something like this. Stay on that ball. Don't give him any outlet to make sure he can kick it in towards goal. Because at that time, your goalkeeper is getting your ball ready. Your ball is talking to your goalkeeper. Lots of confusion going on at times. Um, it happens. It's, it's pretty normal. Your job is to not look back, not to move behind until the referee says move. And even when the referee says move, you look back and see if your ball is ready. You look back and see if your goalkeeper is on the line. And only then do you move. Um, here's another one. With regards to the laws of the game, um, if when a free kick is taken, opponent is closer to the ball than the required distance, the kick is retaken. Now, key, unless the advantage can be applied. Mm -hmm. But if a player takes a free kick quickly and an opponent is less than 10 yards from the ball and he intercepts it, the referee allows play to continue. Which means what? If you've taken a quick free kick and it hits the wall, or someone impedes in it because the wall is not yet made, or someone is ahead on the ball like Luna was supposed to be, or Gudjansson for Henri. But you've taken a quick free kick still. The referee has every right to say, too bad, buddy. You took a quick free kick. The game continues. You've lost your opportunity or option at scoring or taking a try at goal, which is what that is trying to say. Yesterday, it didn't happen because A, Luna was turning back. He was there. He was there initially stopping him once. But then he was turning back again. Turned back, gave him an option, and your goalkeeper is also offline. If you see your goalkeeper's offline and he saw that he is offline, you should not be moving away from the ball. Simple. Simple. You should not be moving away from the ball. Um, this is another one. If when a free kick is taken, an opponent is closer to the ball than the required distance, the kick is retaken unless the advantage can be applied. Grey area. Because advantage is grey area. It is a grey area, 100%. That then is this, you know, it's uh, it, it's dependent on the referee. It is dependent on the referee. And you have to put some faith and trust in the referee then because the person who's there has been chosen because he can perform a certain kind of job, which is why he's officiating the game. If a player takes a free kick quickly and as an opponent who is less than 10 yards intercepts it, the referee allows play to continue. Aha, uh -huh, exactly what I was saying. Over there, uh, a lot of people are referring to the Nacho goal, which he scored for Real Madrid versus Sevilla. Completely different, I thought, from uh, the Henri goal. I'll play the footage first for you, and then we'll talk about it. Hmm, you see that? Nacho is coming. Wall has not been made. Nothing is happening. Referee is there. No one's come on top. And he's already taken the free kick. That, in my opinion, is unfair. Completely unfair. It's pretty blatant there in front of you. It is pretty blatant in front of you. Why the referee had let that happen? Is uh, I thought he made a mistake. I'll play it again. So you see what I'm talking about. Foul has been called for. No one is there. No one is on the ball. Notch is just coming. The referee's there. He's looking at the guys. Wall has not been made and nothing. He's not even marked it, I'm sure, so far. And he's just gone and hit the goal like that. I think that is unsporting. I think that is unfair from a referee's perspective, from a player's perspective. That we're calling Sunil to be unsporting is a little unfair in my words. This is what he had to say uh, post the goal in uh, the broadcast post night show. First, let's listen in turn. I take it. If not, then I say, okay, fine. Get the wall, get the whistle, because you always have the option. But then he said, okay, fine. And I again said, I don't want the whistle, I don't want the wall. He said, you sure? I said, yes. I think Luna heard it. And that's why he blocked once. Yeah, I, I back, had no yeah. chance. He blocked it, he knew it, and he was talking to his keeper. And again, I said, there's no chance. And I was about to ask for the wall, but then he turned. And then I had the opening and. Yeah. So, Neil, you're an absolute predator in this league. He's saying it very clearly there. Now, now it's just a matter of what you believe. Who do you believe? See, how the refereeing thing works is um, whatever the referee feels and whatever has happened will be going into a match commissioner's report. And that report will not be made public uh, for reasons obvious that you've got to protect the referee. At the end of the day, you put them in a spotlight there. The decision here or there could make a huge difference, as you saw last night. Um, uh, but I'm guessing if he's saying, look, I asked him, he asked me, do you want a ball? You wanted this thing? Uh, he said, no. Um, I saw and I went for it. Uh, and he's done this before, by the way. He's, he's admitting to it as well. I've seen him do this in practice a lot of times. Um, and that's a sharp thinker, by the way. Call him what you may, because if you're on the other side, you won't like it. But very sharp thinker. Uh, street smart is what I would call him. Let's just move on and see some more reactions. 
Uh, Floyd Pinto, someone I have a lot of respect for. Um, has done a lot of job, good jobs in Indian football, continues to do so. Legit goal. Watched it live. KBFC was switched off except for Luna. Sunil was switched on as always. Uh, Joe Morrison was below if you can see what he's written. Luna was not switched on as his job was to cover the ball. I kind of agree with him. Because your job is, if you're covering the ball, boss, your job is he should not have any outlet. Any outlet whatsoever to even see the goal. You have to be that close to the ball. Pretty much sticking to the ball, kissing the ball, whatever you want to do. Do not give him an outlet. Referee wants to push you away, push. Tell the referee, I'm not moving. My wall is not ready. My goalie is not ready. Bide some time. All these things are possible. Um, this is a very good uh, analogy, I feel. Comparison. In my opinion, Sunil Chetri's free kick is equal to Ashwin's monkard in cricket. Theoretically, both are legal, but both raise serious questions on sportsman's spirit. <laughs> Depends on how you look at it. If it's legal, it's legal. End of story. If it is legal, it's legal. End of story. Why are you giving there a grey area or whatever? I wouldn't do it like this. Or you wouldn't do it like this. If it's legal, it's legal. End of story. End of conversation. Um, so, yeah. But because Ashwan's mankad is different, here a lot depends on what the referee has said to him. What is the conversation that's happened between Sunil and the referee? Um, and all of that. You know, in a mankad, the game is going on. You're seeing the guy is, you know, he's, he's trying to catch a few yards. And you've seen him, you don't want to give him a, a warning. Or if you've given him a warning, next time you do a tuck. Aapne kar liya. Uh, the umpire has no play in it in terms of telling you to stop or telling you, wait, I'm putting a wall or anything like that. Uh, one day Pardos is saying, I respect your opinion, former Kerala player, um, but I do not share it. I think your legend can do what he wants in any league after 20 seconds until they organize the wall and the referee whistle. It doesn't start again. Do you think that uh, Adrian Luna is going to get out of the way if he thinks the goal can be legal? I don't believe it. But where is this law? I'm just asking. Uh, that in any league, after 20 seconds, until they organize the wall, the referee whistles it. It doesn't start again. Where is the law? Because we've put out the law there. And while he might have merit in what he's saying, because they're saying in Belgium, in, in certain instances, this has happened. That if you've marked the ball with the spray, then that means you have to mark the spray on the 10-yard uh, from the ball to make the wall. Um, but where is that law? I'm just trying to figure out because I can't find it. Uh, Chencho has gotten into the act as well. Former Kerala player. Uh, I'm not quite agreeing with what he's saying though. Referee is destroying the beautiful game. It's not fair. man. It's not fair to talk like that. How is he destroying the beautiful game? His job is there to make a decision. He took a decision. He stayed strong in that decision. Um, sometimes it works for you. Sometimes it doesn't work for you. Um, and he hasn't done anything. Um, how do I say it? Uh, he, he hasn't gone there to make sure you lose. Um, he's interpreted it, the situation. He feels it's correct and he's gone ahead with it. Uh, to point fingers like this and saying you're destroying the game, unfair. Uh, especially coming from a player who's, you know, the, the reputation that he is, big player. And you've been in these situations so long. Uh, the social media teams of both teams then got into it. And uh, it's called a quick free kick, lads, uh, Bengaluru FC saying. Safe trip back home then. This is the owner of Bengaluru FC. He's Parjinder saying, are you serious, Kerala Blasters? Is this how you want this game in our league and Indian football to be depicted globally? Uh, while, while I kind of agree with what he's saying, no walking off, uh, irrespective of what has happened, is not fair. But why is the owner coming out on social media and talking like this? Um, isn't a good owner one who lets his team function the way it is, irrespective because, mind you, the most invested person in that team is him. Right? 100%. Don't agree with the, disagree with that one bit. But shouldn't you be in the shadows? Or am I wrong? Am I too old school saying that uh, the owners shouldn't be putting forth their opinion like that? Uh, I don't know. I'm pro probably old school. I feel someone who's in the shadows, letting things happen is much better. Don't be so trigger happy um, and going on. Because then people use this against you and your team going forward. This is from the bridge. And this is a bit more. Has Sunil Chetri's legacy been tarnished after what happened during Bengaluru FC versus Kerala Blasters FC? Really? And do we need to answer it? Really? No chance. No chance, yaar. No, no chance at all. I know what the bridge is trying to do. They're trying to engage in a conversation. I get that. I'm trying to do the same thing. We're engaging in a conversation, which is why we're coming on to you and having a show. <laughs> Come on, man. From which angle? From which angle, boss? Um, Peter Hartley, former Jamshedpur player, 
The decision Kerala Blasters made to walk off the pitch during game is completely unprofessional and does not stand the league in good light. It opens the door for teams to follow suit if they don't agree with the decision in the future, if not dealt with accordingly. Like I mentioned at the start, interesting what kind of a decision is taken. Um, everyone will be watching uh, what the decision will be, um, what the kind of reprimand will be, though I feel it's financial and a touchline ban. Um, and the clubs will have to stand with them. As I was saying in this tweet by Blasters Zone, Kerala Blasters players are in complete agreement with coach Ivan Vukomanovic's decision to walk off in protest. There you go. So this is the day after. Um, I'm sure a lot of people watching might not agree with what I'm saying. Um, but that is the goal. And that is the situation that transpired last night. Um, some might agree, some might not agree. But uh, contentious is possibly the right way to say it. And if you're a Blasters fan, I can understand um, why uh, you'd be really disheartened after what happened last night. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, we'll be coming to you throughout the playoffs on 420 Grams. Goodbye.